Now, we need to talk about the pain points the amputees are challenging with the prosthetics. Having to visit doctor every month, spending 1,000 pounds per each visit, just because this socket doesn't fit right. This hurts many amputees. The way of casting these sockets still have many improvements. The current 3D scanning system can only take a static measurement scan. This scanning is typically done by local doctors and deliver the digital data to Procedist. Procedist then design the static link model by using this link data. In most cases, the socket will not be fitted properly because our link is always dynamic. But what if we can add the extra time variant on this kind of scanning system? Our technology, a 4D AI-based scanning system, have a better solution. That we have a better understanding on scan. By giving this extra time variant, we believe procedures can now have a much better understanding on tissue movements during dynamic activities. Supported by AI-based, sorry, with much better understanding. We we'll also enable doctors and procedures to collaborate in real time, fine tuning the soccer interface based on actual skin movements. This means now your sockets are designed to adapt to your personal skin natural deformation, provide a better fit that tailored just for you at the moment of every day. At this stage, we have a golden result on the lab environment, and we are raising one million pounds to support our human trials to compare both with the lab result and current fusion technology. My name is Derek. Please support us and give amputees a new life. Thank you. Well done, Derek. I'm sure you guys got some questions. I know nothing about prosthetics at all. So my question is, how would your um, uh, methodology differ from the current methodology of fitting? What, what's the, the, the process steps that you have to go through in order to be able to make this improvement? So just basically, I would tomorrow propose the same step with compared to the current using technology, this 3D scanning system. But uh, as our technology, we had an extra time variant during scanning, we ask us patients to move moving around this limb. And by giving this dynamic skin deformation feature, it's a critical step to make a more comfortable socket interface design because we extended to a, extend to a time variant domain. Could that be retrofitted to the current technology used by people who fit prosthetic? Uh, so, so your extra step that you're talking about can that be retrofitted to the current methodology and equipment used by people who fit prosthetic limbs? Uh, uh, retrofitted? Can you can you can your current your technology to the current? Yeah. Yes, it's basically the same the same scanning process. But our our scan system provides a better solution. It's it still can can maintain the same step during those measurements. But so we, uh, we can add an extra scanning scanning feature when doing this molding process. Okay. So in terms of your intellectual property patent position, what's what's the unique features of, of your system? So we are going to patent our software. And we, we are filing our patent. And I hope we got the patents all done at the end of this year. OK, so it's a, it's a software that's, that's here. It's mainly software. So it's And how does that integrate with the physical device? So our tech with which is hardware edge, it is a motion capture system. We got camera settings and this software, which is an AI based some machine learning model. So we collect the data and train it. Yeah, I'm a little unclear, I have to say, in terms of how this would be um, adopted. Um, that's really my question, my earlier question. You know, if, you've, if, if you've got a lot of people who've invested in equipment to basically to, uh, to fit prosthetics and design prosthetics, uh, why would they uh, 
adopt your approach? Why would they use your software? What what's the um, uh, what is makes a difference? Why is it so compelling? Because I haven't understood that yet. Yeah. So basically, the pain point is that collision and amplitude is both space is because when they are doing this socket interface, because it's some some current technology they do the static measurements on that and they can't prove because a lot of problems for the fitting they feel uncomfortable because this is kind of static design and we want to do I understand those tissue movements during dynamic activities so we're going to provide a better software interface extended to over a time period so if I play that back to you your the difference is is that yours is a dynamic fitting process which is taking measurements which allows you to provide a more comfortable fit yes very good thank you very much Derek and that's uh...